Ellie, you ready? Let's go. Let's go. Last video, I destroyed my camera in my mount. And so I'm using a little bit different setup today. It's just, you obviously can't see it, but I got a suction cup on here, not my normal clamp where I can clamp it on stuff. So it's gonna be a little bit difficult. Things going on today. Right there, the chopper's here. They're cutting our 17 acres of sorghum. And so dad's been packing the pit. They started yesterday and broke down. So hopefully they get that part and finish that today. But otherwise we're finishing soybean harvest today. We got 180 acres left. Come on girl. Last video, we also preg checked our heifers. Here are the open ones. There were six, and so today they're going to town. I suppose they're not quite big enough for processing. They'll probably go to another feedlot, get finished to a little bit more weight, and we'll get the combine and the grain cart moved to the last 80 acres of soybean. We don't really think our corn's quite ready, so we'll have a couple days here where we can just get prepared for that. Dad wants to change the uh, shanks on the chisel because they're a little war, so we'll get that done. Come on, girls. Uh-oh, they're coming back on me. Hey, hey, there you go, girls. So it's a brisk 43 degrees Fahrenheit today. It's chilly, it'll warm up. Hopefully our chopper shows up with that part that they need and they can finish that up today while Jeff and I, if they do show up, dad will be packing the pit. I'll be running the combine, Jeff will be trucking. And so we'll be a little spread out, but that way we can get as much done in one time that we can. Here's what the pit's looking like. There should be quite a bit more out in that field, plus in this field over here, well that little three acres where we got some feed bunks, there's some more sorghum in there. So the plan is to get enough food to feed our cattle for quite a while. So that's that's the plan. I think dad's a little rammy today. He already took off with the combine. He just wants to get going. He wants to finish that last field. He's excited about it. Plus he's gonna be a busy man with this, with packing this pit back here. So it looks like we're in road gear, full bunny today. So here's how much they got done. It basically looks like they got the end rows off all the way around. If this is your first Sunny Farms video, I hope you're enjoying it. Like I said, this is our last field of soybeans. Then we'll be on to corn, and then we'll be on to weaning cattle, and just a whole bunch of jobs, spreading manure, chiseling, doing a little fall, uh, fall tillage. I hope you're compelled to hit that subscribe button, turn those notifications on, and just hang out with us here at Sunny Farms. She's got a little wobble in her, just a little bit. So here's part of my old clamp mount. It it didn't it didn't do very good against the grain cart auger. So how's it feel that this is the last field of beans? It sucks. I'm having fun. Oh, you? Ah, uh, it went fast. People are gonna say, man, how many acres do they farm? How much? About twenty. About twenty acres. Yeah, eighteen. Can I tell you the hamburger story? Yeah. So there's a restaurant in Mitchell that's, I always liked eating there and I was bragging it up to Robbie and Paul. So we we're going to Menards to get some lumber because we were working on a project. And so I talked and I said, we well, gotta try this place. So I ordered my usual there. And we waited and waited and waited and then we got our food. And I had a burger, I took a bite of it. It seemed real tough. So I picked up the bun and looked at it, and the frickin' cheese wrap was still on the cheese. So I don't know if he slapped it on the burger to melt it a little bit and was gonna pull the plastic wrap off later and forgot or what, but anyway. Ain't been back. That's how I roll. Uh-huh. Oh! Got on tarp. Is we're gonna head back. I'm gonna grab a water. Jeff's gonna grab the semi. I don't know what dad's doing. I think he might be getting ready for silage. Oh, yeah, he's taking in those heifers. And then I'll get ready for silage. And then I'm gonna come back, run the combine. Dad'll be running the pit. Jeff will be running the grain cart and the semis. So he's gonna have a busy day. So, my little brother Jeff here, he's probably the nicest, nicest guy you'll ever want to meet. But I will say, when he was younger, probably said the worst swear word, the youngest of anybody I've ever met in my life. Mm -hmm. You know what he called KFC when he was like two? 
Kentucky Fried Chicken. What are you gonna say? I don't, I don't know if I can even put that in a video. All right, she's my ship for the day. I, I'm mostly a grain cart driver, but so hopefully I can make it through the day without doing something bad. You know, that's, that's kind of what I strive for every morning. I wake up, I look at the mirror, I say, don't mess this up, Cole. Don't do something bad. And you know, most of the time, maybe 90, 95% of the time, that's just what I do. Pretty excited about this field. We're hitting some decent yields up in here right now. The instant yield is about 65. We're hitting some mid 70s, upper 70s on the way down. It'll be nice to have the last field, you know, and end on a good note before we start corn, which corn's gonna be crazy this year, we think. All right, that should put a pretty good dent in the in the semi. Get him going pretty soon here. All the end rows are off, so it should be easy going. I missed a row. Oops, the wind today makes it so I can't see very well over there. So I'm just gonna hope, just gonna hope it's all right. I've only been in here about 30 minutes, but this Lancota footrest, it, it really helps, it's nice. It just make, gives you somewhere to stretch out. And, you know, I kind of wish I had one of these to put in front of the toilet, you know, Lancota, maybe you should move into you know, more markets, like bathroom assistant type. I, I just feel like this would help you out when you're sitting on the pot. I feel like I've seen something like that on Facebook before. Just an idea. I'll get Jeff full so he'll be out I'll have to stop at the end and dump which takes a lot more time we were bailing a few weeks and months back people always said man I wish you could put the camera in the baler and so we can see what's going on in there and just because how a baler works it would it just I, I don't think it would work and then people say man I wish you could put the camera in the combine and I actually can put it kind of in where the sieves are I think I'm gonna try that I mean, last video I dang, I did kind of break that camera. I'm using my new one, and so I mean, I I don't want to break two cameras in one week, but I got to deliver. I got to deliver for you guys. Okay, so if, if this camera goes kaput, well, you probably won't see the video, but what of you needs to buy me a camera? saw the back part of the sieve I don't think I can really get it into the rotor that that would be destroyed Hopefully there ain't water sitting in here yet. You know, it'd be, it'd be a good day to get stuck since I got my new Yankum rope two days ago. She full.
Thanks. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Now that's multitasking. Dad, apparently that part didn't come in that our hay cutter, not the hay cutter, but our silage chopper needed, and so we're not going to get that finished today, unfortunately. Today is Thursday, so hopefully they can get it by tomorrow. That way we can maybe shop tomorrow or maybe into the weekend, but it'd be nice to get that done. We're about half done with the field. Actually, the monitor says we got, we've got we been working for two and a half hours and about two and a half hours are left. Since our stylus chopper isn't going to be able to run today, Dad will probably be headed out here somewhat soon. Now we're getting into some really good beans. It's been hanging around 70 basically the whole pass. Can't get much better than that. It could get a little better though. Like if I could see five feet out in front of me, that'd be nice. like Jeff got back with the truck. So There's 28 acres left, won't take too long. One pass left. I bet you next week we'll start on corn. We also, I think I mentioned we wanted to change the tips on the chis. It'll be nice with beans. They never got snowed on or anything, not even close. Tonight's supposed to be the first night we actually get a free. It's been a fairly good year getting stuff done ahead of time. So I was planning on taking the hat off, bringing that home, but like, I need to go to the bathroom yesterday. I don't know if I'll make it. Well, Dad, I got the beans done. Thanks for the help. I feel like I've been running harder than you have today. Today? Hey. Yeah. Maybe. Hey, can I tell one more story about... You already got your one story in today. Is it a quick story? Probably not. But so, when the boys were in Little League Baseball, Jeez, there was uh... this girl that kind of liked Robbie and Weaver. Took her out for supper down, down in Mount Vernon after a ball game one time and everything. And all of a sudden, one day, this is another story about Robbie growing up. All of a sudden one day she came, comes to the baseball games and she's got big red lipstick on. And I I know a thing or two. Didn't say a word. I'm bringing you boys home after the games. And I said to Robbie, well, how was it? Well, how was what? I said, you kissing that girl. He's like, how'd you know? I said, I've seen a few things in my day. And that's how I roll. Okay. Anyway, the Silas Chopper's rolling. Dad's got the blade back on the 7155R. Back to serious farming stuff, folks. Uh, Pulls all business. Well, someone's got to be. I ain't. Am I not business sometimes? I don't know. Okay. I don't know man. Anyway, well. How was your lunch that I brought you from town? It was pretty. It was kind of. It's kind of on the cold side, but yeah. it was. It had flavor. Yep. I ran out of ranch dressing, but it was still pretty good. It was a pretty big dollop of ranch, though. So. I used a lot of ranch. Yeah. So I'm going to be doing a little packing, folks. Yeah. But first, because Cole did such a good job, I get to cross off the list, harvest beans, because uh, we're done with that for 2020. Yeah. I was going through those big sloughs, kind of hoping I'd get stuck so we could pull that thing out. <laughs> you ain't going to get stuck this time of the year. Yeah. Hey, if you want something to do, you could go do some tillage. The rest of the afternoon. Yeah, I might take the rest of the day off. <laughs> we really liked how Jeff's pit looked after we got done packing with the 9230, so I'm going to unhook that just so when we're done, we can finish packing with it.
So Jeff calls me and he says he's gonna bring the grain cart home. I said, don't forget to fold in the auger. He said, oh, I should I should fold it in before I head down the road. I did. Could I could forget though. These ratchet straps aren't very good. No, they're not. But hey, that's the last time for the next 300 something days that we have to use them. Before you ask, why don't we just buy a big blade for the 9230? I guess we don't have thirty thousand dollars laying around. I I don't know. I don't know how much they cost, but those things, they're sweet. They're awesome, but they are expensive. Alright, Jeff and I are gonna go grab that combine, then we'll finish uh, packing the pit, and then we'll be done for the day. There's just one thing left I gotta do in this field before I leave. There it is. Yeah. Gotta run over the beads I missed. By the smells of it, I think that chopper hit a whole family of skunks. Yeah, I, I could smell it when I pulled in the yard over there. I said I bet the chopper hit a family of skunks. I don't know about a family, but yeah, the load came in and I was like, oh. Not good. Well, looks like they're done for the night. That chopper, that smells like skunk. Just doing a little Austin Powers. Well, that looks pretty nice. As you can see, our pit's not completely full. Next year, we're gonna do about twice as much sorghum than we did this year. That about does it for me and Steve today. Who's Steve, you may ask? My new buddy, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time. Have a good one.